Exporting a SketchUp model is pretty simple, but there are a couple tools and tricks that you'll need to learn along the way. First, to export an animation, you need SketchUp Pro. If you don't have SketchUp Pro, you can view your animation just by clicking between your scene transitions. The only drawback to this is you'll have some lag between scenes, and for really complex models, it's just not going to cut it. Now, as you notice, when I click on the next scene, there's a transition time between each scene. In an animation, there's also a delay or pause time between each scene. And you can see that a little bit better when you right click on a scene and click play animation. To adjust the scene transition time as well as the delay time, you want to go to Window Model Info. Now let's make the transition time six seconds. And we want to pause at each scene for approximately three seconds. That will really slow down this animation and truly give us a sense of what the space looks and feels like. And it's not moving at a pace that's so fast that we can't really understand everything that's going on. To export this, just go to File Export, select Animation. You can set the format. In most cases, I just use this .mp4. However, if you're on a PC, you may see an AVI. That's just as comparable. Go to Options. And here you can set the resolution that you want. I typically like to start at 720p. You can then set the frame rate. And as a draft, I'll always start at 15, just to see how long the animation will take to finish. You can set it to loop back to the starting scene if you prefer. This is great for sun studies. It'll continually loop. Or maybe if you have an animation that you're showing as a backdrop or as a screensaver, you can always have it loop back to that first scene. Like with JPEGs, make sure anti-alias is checked on. And simply click OK. And then click Export. You'll see the status screen come up. In the status screen, you'll see the frames that it's rendered and the total number of frames that are in the animation. Lastly, it'll just give you approximate duration that it'll take for this animation to export. And 14 minutes, that's pretty typical with the computer that I'm running right now. A lot of the frame renderings really depend on how detailed your geometry is, because it has to pause at each one of those frames, snapshot it, and then move on to the next frame. When it's finished, it'll show up wherever you saved it, and then you can play it from there. That wraps up this chapter on exporting options. In the next chapter, let's take a look at how to create a rendering composite of several different scene styles that are pulled together into Photoshop to create one image overlay.